Okay, um, hopefully you can hear me. Um, this is gonna be really hard to do. <sighs> Today was my birthday and um, This past week, it couldn't have gone any better. You know, Friday was a good day for work, and Saturday, you know, <clears throat> everything was going great. Sunday, Mandy was home, and we spent the, pretty much the entire day together as best as we could. And uh, today is my birthday on Monday, and I got the breakfast that I wanted, and I got the dinner that I wanted. I even got an awesome 30th birthday card from Andy. I got so many birthday happy birthdays and from friends I haven't talked to in a while and family members I guess it's just the cynic the, the, the cynical side of me but growing up these past 30 years I noticed that when I'm having a really good time or something is going right chaos rears its ugly head and something bad happens and we have no control over it around 745 for those of you who don't know I'm gonna go back a few months our dog, our little guy Khufu, the little tiny brown chihuahua, he, um, he suffers from seizures. And the first one he got, we really didn't chalk it up to it actually being a seizure. We just thought maybe he hurt himself or, you know, he was just agitated. We didn't know why. So we just let it go. And then the second one hit a couple weeks later and we said screw it, we're taking him to the vet to get checked out to make sure he was alright. And it turns out that he's epileptic. For the past two weeks, I would say, he's been doing great. Forgive me if I start crying. Um, today, around 7.45, he had another seizure. And it was bad. Normally his seizures last about 15 minutes, maybe 20, and then he's back to a normal self. A little exhausted, but he's fine. We ended up taking him to the emergency room because he... The lights were on, but no one was home, pretty much. And, um, he was <clears throat> having a consistent seizure for over an hour. And, uh, 
Needless to say, he's um he's gone. They gave him several different types of anti-seizure medications. And nothing was working. Khufu's gone. We, 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 we had to put him to sleep. Mandy is devastated to say the least. I am... I'm more hurt because she's hurt. I resolved myself back when we had our first seizure that we were either worst case scenario, but I have to give him up so that someone who could afford to take care of him could actually take care of him. Or worst case scenario, we had to do what we did today. I resolved myself to him going, to him either leaving us or leaving this world, but it hurts so much. And what tore me up even more was just Mandy's face. I knew she was going to take it hard, but she took it way harder than I thought. That's what made it hurt so much more is I couldn't do anything. I felt so helpless, but we either had to prolong his life, prolong him being poked and prodded and stabbed and We saw him before we decided to put him to sleep. We spent some time with him. And the dog that I was playing with yesterday, who was wagging his tail and bouncing around, barking at me. I mean, who got so excited when you, when you got him his food that, um, dog that I saw before we, we decided to do what we had to it wasn't the same dog he was gone his eyes were clouded over he was he was gone um needless to say other than this video and a couple other that I have rendered, I won't be uploading for a bit. I, I need some time to think. He was a part of our life for a very short time, but when you suffer from depression, you try to find things that help you take your mind off of it. And in a way, he was my therapy. When Mandy or you guys or music or games can't get me out of that funk, out of that, that pit of sorrow, my animals help me. You know, Piper, he helps, and Goofu helped too. And it's like a little piece of me is gone now. Losing a loved one, regardless if it's your pet, parent, a cousin, a brother. Losing a loved one sucks. It is the most painful thing that you can ever deal with. I thought that 
my birthday couldn't get any worse. But it, it did today. But <laughs> if I did learn anything from this is that this is somehow going to make me stronger. <laughs> and that I have to remember all the good times that we had with him. <laughs> the only thing that for me, it makes it hurt even more. He was still little. He was no older than three. And he didn't live his life. If I do feel better in a couple of days, I will upload, I will record, and the channel will resume as soon as possible. But if anything, I'm probably going to be down for a week, and then, um, if everything goes right, then I'll resume as I normally do. If you can, I want you to remember these words. No matter who it may be, what it may be, if it's something important to you, spend as much time as possible with it, with them. Because you never know when it's gonna be gone. It doesn't have to be a loved one, it doesn't have to be a pet, it could be something as silly as a, your favorite pen. Because life is very short. Sometimes it's shorter for others. Or it's just long enough. Cherish every day that you wake up as if it's your last. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I am your host, Michael Gardner. AKA Blue Fox 22. As always, stay safe, stay as healthy as humanly possible, and above all, spend time with your loved ones. No matter if it's your pet goldfish or if it's your dad. Spend as much time with them as possible. Losing them is the easy part. It's moving on that's the hard part. Now, for us. This is the hard part. <laughs>